The conflict in Ukraine is escalating this morning. Government troops launched operations against pro-Russian forces. Russian President Vladimir Putin is warning that Ukraine is on the brink of civil war. Holly Williams is in Slavyansk, where both sides are putting on a major show of force. Good morning. Here in eastern Ukraine, the country's military and armed separatists are putting on rival shows of strength. In Slavyansk this morning, there were masked gunmen on the streets and armored personnel carriers flying the Russian flag. This town, like many others, is now in the hands of pro-Russian militants. In nearby Kramatorsk, Ukrainian troops were helicoptered in yesterday to try to wrest back control of an airfield from the separatists. And 40 miles away, in Kamyanka, more Ukrainian soldiers made preparations for a fight against the insurgents. Their general described it as an anti-terrorist operation. Ukraine's leaders blame Moscow for instigating unrest here, but the militants have popular support from many Russian-speaking Ukrainians who claim they're discriminated against by their own government. We're fighting for ourselves and for our land, said this man. Do I look like a terrorist to you? At this checkpoint in Konstantinovka today, we found pro-Russian protesters passing out leaflets that immediately caught our eye. What they're handing out here is a declaration of independence by this part of eastern Ukraine. And this congratulates the people here on the formation of the Republic of Donetsk. That's exactly what Ukraine's leaders are trying to prevent. But using force is high risk. It could provoke a military intervention from Russia, which has condemned Ukraine's actions as criminal. The fear is a repeat of what happened in Crimea last month, when separatist demonstrations were a pretext for thousands of Russian soldiers to move in and then annex the region. As Ukraine once again teeters on the brink of civil war, many people in this part of the country have told us they would welcome Russian soldiers on the streets. For CBS This Morning, Holly Williams, Slavyansk.